They're now legendary, the code breakers of England's Bletchley Park, who eavesdropped on Germany all through World War II to D-Day and the fall of Berlin. Parachute landing in Normandy. 10,000 mathematicians, crossword puzzle enthusiasts, linguists, who get credit for shortening that war by two years. Mostly Brits, some Americans, what one surviving code breaker calls a very odd selection of people. Everything was um, quite... Uh, quite mad, really. 87-year-old Mavis Beatty decoded this message. Today's the day, minus three. Revealing the date of a planned Italian naval attack. Forewarned, the British were ready and the Italian Navy was crushed. <laughs> it, it probably, you know, was the most fantastic line that anybody had ever seen before. Many successes were the result of the capture of Enigma the Germans encoding machine. This machine has 158 million, million, million different options. Armed with the code books captured with the machine, the people here were able to give the British American allies an extraordinary insight into the Nazis' battle plans. 69 years later, it's time that is winning the battle at Bletchley Park. This hut is where the process of code breaking went from being a cottage industry into an industrial process. The buildings where thousands of messages were decoded daily are falling down. They estimate it will take $15 million to save them. Salvage work so far has been a labor of love, like the 14-year rebuild of Colossus, a top-secret computer that could break the cipher used by the German high command and still works as fast as a laptop. It wasn't all about code breaking. Mavis Beatty met her husband Keith at Bletchley Park, one of many romances. But the work was so secret that for decades, until it was declassified, even husbands and wives didn't talk about what they did. Work considered so important, it needs to be saved before it all fades from memory. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, Bletchley Park.